Hi everyone and welcome to our science curriculum video. I'm Miss Kelsey and I'm the Head of Science at James Finder School. This curriculum video will aim to introduce you to our science leadership team, give you a general overview of our curriculum, home learning activities that can support our learners at home um, and ensure they can make effective progress, and our assessment strategies that will allow learners to identify what they need to work on and create aims for their next steps. Within our science team, we have a range of specialists within chemistry, physics and biology that are led by our heads of subject. So we have Miss Teresa, our head of biology, Miss Louise, our head of chemistry and Mr Sammy, our head of physics. Within our Key Stage 3 curriculum, we teach aspects of physics, chemistry and biology. There are four topics within each science that allow learners to experience basic science topics as well as exploring their application to the real world and developing their key experimental practical skills. Within each of the topics there are practical experiments that support the learning of the theory of that topic and learners have the opportunity to have scaffolded practicals with the aim of them eventually planning their own investigation by the time they get to year nine. The curriculum is selected following the British curriculum, as well as ensuring we give all of our Key Stage 3 learners the opportunity to explore topics that will be assessed in their progress tests, PISA, TIMS, but also preparing them for the selection of their IGCSEs um, at the end of year nine and making sure they have that key background knowledge that's going to really help them progress at the beginning of their GCSEs. As well as all of these opportunities, we also provide opportunities for skill development, opportunities for collaboration, in presentation, in working in teams, leading groups and using their problem solving skills um, throughout so that they are also developing these cross curricular skills that can be applied to any subject as well as really support them um, as they move on from GFS. In Key Stage D, learners will have the opportunity to develop a range of HPL skills throughout every lesson and review using our new HPL success criteria pages. For example, learners may be asked to collaborate, focusing on the HPL empathetic, when creating a resource that they are going to present or when sharing their ideas as a group. Learners could be asked to self or peer assess aspects of work, focusing on improving their meta thinking skills. Or learners could show perseverance and resilience through challenging aspects of the topics that they're currently learning. Learners will then engage with the success criteria page at the end of a topic to really review the skills that they've developed and skills that they want to work on by using the red, amber, green system. It's extremely important learners engage with those HPL opportunities to give them a well-rounded skill base as they move from Key Stage 3 to Key Stage 4 and beyond. To support learning at home, all learners have been given a home learning study timetable that relates to their Key Stage 3 science book. Learners can follow this week by week timetable to review and explore topics at more depth they are studying in lessons. At the end of each section, learners are encouraged to use their creativity to create a poster, mind map, flashcards, blogs, vlogs or a game um, based on the topic they've studied. This is in order for them to demonstrate the additional learning that they have been taking part in, as well as use those innovative skills to present what they've been learning and really show their progress throughout the topic. And they will also be awarded some house points for extremely good effort um, and presentation of the work that they have created. It's a really good opportunity for learners to show science in a different way. So we'd really love your support and encouraging your child to take part in this activity and this presentation of work every term. Education Perfect is an additional tool that we have access to this academic year if you've signed up for access to the system. Within Education Perfect, learners can browse all science content, select Key Stage 3 and explore a range of topics from biology, chemistry, earth and science and physics that can link to their learning in the classroom. Within these folders, there are opportunities to review content in video form, in reading 
different contexts, looking at diagrams and ways to assess their learning, remembering skills where we have to fill in the blanks, connect keywords and complete other activities. This is an excellent resource available where teachers will assign work but learners can also select the work that they want to focus on to improve their own progress. As well as lesson resources that are shared on Phoenix and the Key Stage 3 Science textbook, learners can engage with additional resources to support their learning at home or to explore topics in more depth. For example, Cognito and Fusco have really clear and concise videos that show learners aspects of science and give them modelled visual aids to support the development of that knowledge. BBC Bite Size has succinct notes for different topics that can be explored and reviewed and Seneca Learning has this opportunity as well as some mini assessments so that learners can assess their own home learning while they are studying, preparing for um, assessments at the end of the year or preparing for retrieval practice at the end of every topic. To support learners identifying their areas of strength and areas of development, they are given the opportunity to complete retrieval practice at the end of each topic. This involves learners applying their knowledge to a range of questions that are skill based. So recall based questions where they might have to remember key scientific terminology, application where they might need to then use this knowledge to solve a problem or explain a phenomenon within science through the use of this key scientific language maths and science where they're going to use their numeracy skills to possibly present scientific data and um, complete calculations using scientific formula and how science work questions which will really target the review of their practical skills developing methods identifying variables processing results evaluating experimental procedures Thanks for listening um, to this curriculum video. If you do have any questions, please feel free to direct your questions to the subject leads that were discussed at the beginning of the session. We're always willing to provide additional information and direct you to supportive resources um, if you need any further information.